Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another lawnmower repair video. Today I'm going to show you how to adjust the engine speed on your lawnmower with a 3.5 Briggs & Stratton engine. First of all, I'm going to start up this lawnmower and show you with a tachometer that it is revving a bit slower. Now be very careful if you use vice grips to keep the brake lever down while you adjust the engine speed. All I'm going to need today to do this is a large flat screwdriver and a pair of needle nose pliers. And as you just saw, I also end up using vice grips. Now what you want to do is take off the screw here. This will remove the air filter housing assembly. Now the first thing you want to check is that this lever here is pushed in all the way like that. This will make the engine rev a bit higher. So before adjusting anything else, make sure to move this forward like I just did. Then you can start it up again and see if it's revving correctly. Now I've started it up with the lever moved all the way forward. It still does not rev high enough. Also, I want to make sure that this lever here doesn't move. So I'm just going to bend down this tab a bit. This will prevent it from moving again. Now here's the secret to making it rev a bit higher. What I do is grab a pair of needle nose pliers. I get a hold of this tab over here and I move it forward. That's toward the front of the lawnmower. You don't have to move it much, maybe an eighth of an inch. And then you want to start your lawnmower again to see if it's revving any higher. Although I did put a lawnmower at 3200 in a previous video, on certain ones it's okay to go a bit higher. I've also got another lawnmower here that I had to do the same thing to. Another thing I want to note is sometimes you do have to replace this spring right off the bat. Sometimes what I do is I cut the spring, I shorten it, then I rehook it onto here, and that gives the engine extra speed. You don't want all the pressure on this little spring here, you want to share the pressure between both springs. Again, here's a close look at those two governor springs. And if you need to replace the big spring over here, it's part number 691297. I always carry a lot of these in stock. Also, if you need to replace the small spring over here, it's part number 691859. And here's what it looks like in the package. There will also be links under today's video to where you can buy these directly online. Once you're done adjusting the engine speed, just simply reinstall your air filter. And that's all there is to adjusting the engine speed on your 3.5 horsepower Briggs & Stratton lawnmower engine. Now the same procedure will apply to a lot of other Briggs & Stratton engines that have the carburetor on the fuel tank like this one. Thanks for watching guys, make sure to subscribe and like my videos and have yourselves a great day.